I think when I applied to this job, I wasn't sure what it meant for it to be an international school. I think it's more obvious when you go to a school in Spain that then equally speaks English or Chinese or what have you. So I was like, what does that mean? We're in Grantham. I think it is again about opportunities. So we have direct links with other schools all around the world. So in Europe, in South America, in South Africa, we sometimes have meetings with people from other schools around the world. And because they all wear the same uniform, the children go, oh, they're just like me. They're not any different. In the time I've been here, I've been really lucky because I did go on something called Intersec to Budapest, which is one of our sister schools in Europe. And that's a time when children from all the schools all over the world all come together and do activities. So because we were in Budapest, lots of it was about puzzles. And you get to explore the city and get to know what it's like being in another place, but also meet other children who are just like them, but go to school in Budapest. I think being part of the International Schools Group gives us as teachers as well the chance to find out what other people are up to. I know that some of our other teachers have been on training courses with teachers from some of the other schools. So looking at coding, for example, some of the new technologies so that we don't feel like we're being left behind what they're doing in the rest of the world, but equally they do that with us too. So we've had some of the Spanish and Italian teachers come and visit us because our education system is slightly different to perhaps what they do. So they come and see what we're up to. I think for the age range that we are, because we're only sort of three to 11, I think they're trips that you may be lucky enough to be part of when you're at secondary school. But I think it's quite a big thing actually going away from school, away from your family, packing your bag, going off on a plane with a member of staff, staying away from home, staying in another country. So I think it's all of those other things, not just the experience itself. So you've got these amazing memories that you've been and played in a particular football stadium or you've been to Budapest and stood on the wall of the castle or whatever it is. But I think it's that, I think it's that not being with your family is hard, you know, but equally you're doing this amazing thing. So if you can do that at eight, nine years old, go do it. It teaches you sort of resilience, courage, all of those things we want them to have at school too, so. We have this bear that's arrived called Travelling Ben. He's in his own little uniform that looks like the children in his blazer and he's got his little shorts on and he comes in this sort of suitcase and he travels around all of our schools so he's been to our school in Dev. He goes all over the place visiting the children so you see snapshots of him in the newsletter sometimes when he's been up to various things in all weird and wonderful parts of the country and the world. He arrives, he's with you for a certain length of time and then he packs his bag, enjoys his travels and off he goes to visit some other children and enjoy their educational experiences too.